He's one of the greatest players in the history of this game. The guy is extremely talented, one of the greatest of all time. He's as talented as I've ever seen, um, specifically around the green. What does it take to succeed at something? Some would say passion, some would say skill. But what if you have all of that and you still find it hard to reach a place that you deserve? Do you give up? Well, if you're Phil Mickelson, the answer is no. You never give up. I feel like it's the start of increased play. It actually provides me some of the best opportunities to win another major championship. The American pro golfer is perhaps one of the finest players the sport has ever seen. With his playing style that has been described by many as aggressive, Mickelson has managed to make a mark in golf unlike any other. Pro at his short game technique, it's a rare occasion when Phil Mickelson is not part of the top 10 ratings. And considering the amount of talent the man has got, it's no surprise that he has spent over 25 consecutive years in the top 50 golf players in the world. Phil Mickelson and his world-famous left-hand swing are a story to be told over and over again. Mickelson's career officially began when he was 22 years old. I love everything about the event where it brings together such great personalities. When I'm having fun and when I'm enjoying myself and getting to know people, it actually takes my mind away. And now at 49 years of age, Phil Mickelson has made it so big in the world of sports that he's practically a legend that every aspiring golfer looks up to, and for good reason. With an estimated net worth of $375 million, Mickelson has been competing with golf legends such as Tiger Woods for the title of the richest golfer this world has ever seen. The tough thing, Heinz, was getting him to, to bite. And not only did he take it, <laughs> he, took it. he doubled it. He doubled it. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Lovingly nicknamed Lefty by his fans, Phil Mickelson has left no stone unturned to leave behind an unmatched legacy in the world of sports. But of course, success this great comes with its own share of struggles. And when I tell you that Mickelson has struggled, I mean it. Despite having an elite skill set, the golf pro couldn't seem to win any major titles in the sport for the most part of his career. This inability to win what he truly deserved left the sportsman in shambles. But of course, all that means is that he managed to come out of this dry spell and took the world by storm and he has no plans to stop anytime soon. Phil Mickelson was born in San Diego, California on June 16, 1970. Believe it or not, even as a toddler, Mickelson knew that the only thing he was passionate about was golf. I've had a golf club in my hand uh, from before I could even remember. His love for the sport took shape when he watched his father, Philip, play with his right-hand swing. Young Phil would accompany his father to his games and would try to copy the way he played. Seeing the little boy's interest, his dad started training him and thus began Mickelson's long and successful journey in golf. As a result, he became an amateur golfer as an early teen. He was so serious about the game that his mother took a second job to help pay for his American Junior Golf Association play which won him three consecutive AJGA Rolex Player of the Year awards and a full scholarship to Arizona State University. As a college student, he practically became the face of amateur golf. Playing for Arizona State, Mickelson jumped to the top of the national amateur golfing ranks. He won three NCAA individual championships and three Haskins awards for outstanding collegiate golfer and became the second collegiate golfer to have ever earned the All-American honors all four years. And Mickelson's college career didn't just stop there. When he was a junior in 1990, Mickelson became the first left-hander to win the U.S. amateur title. Not only that, but he also stunned critics when he won his first PGA Tour tournament, becoming the fourth golfer in PGA history to accomplish this feat. That too in the same year. It's safe to say that during his time at Arizona State, Mickelson had managed to get enough attention to turn professional right after graduating. He won his first title as a pro in 1993. After that, his career was a series of successful matches. In 2000, the newly born golf star defeated Tiger Woods and ended his consecutive winning streak, something no other player had managed to do. 
At this point, everyone agreed that Mickelson was unlike any other golfer. With his drive and spirit, he quickly gained the public's love and admiration with ease. But despite his strong form and countless wins, the man fell short at times when it mattered the most. Somehow, Mickelson was unable to go big in the sport's biggest tournaments. For the longest time, even after playing a brilliant game, the golfer couldn't seem to win any big titles. The situation was so bad that he unofficially earned the title of best player to never win a major. It was a difficult and discouraging time for someone like Mickelson, who was just starting out in his career. But luckily, he didn't let the setback drag him down. I just love it. I've loved it as a kid. It's never been work to me. It's always been something I've loved to do. I love competing in the biggest events, the ones that mean the most. With his persistence, the talented golf star managed to prove his worth to everyone once and for all. His big moment finally came at the 2004 Masters when the 33-year-old birdied five of the final seven holes and pulled out a one-stroke win over golfer Ernie Els. And that was all it took for the golfer to begin his streak of title wins. He went on and claimed the 2005 PGA Championship. Not only that, but he also notched a second Masters win in 2006. By 2017, Forbes has estimated his earnings to be $42 million per year, making Mickelson one of the highest paid golf players. His success followed him well into 2007 and then 2009, when he won the Players' Championship and the Tour Championship. And once again in 2010, the champ was ready to score yet another Masters win. But sadly, during this time, his wife Amy was diagnosed with breast cancer, leaving all the fans convinced that 2010 wasn't Mickelson's year. But he proved everyone wrong and still managed to win the final, despite his personal struggles. To finally win a major uh, felt great, and I, I look back and uh, relive that jump and relive that moment. It was just a special, special time. What's even better is that his wife Amy was successfully treated within due time and was there in person to see her husband bring the trophy home. The golfer even went on to get inducted into the Golf Hall of Fame after this spectacular win. Of course, like all great sportsmen, his career saw constant ups and downs. His rivalry with Tiger Woods being the most hyped up controversy of his career, despite both the men proving that there's nothing between them but friendship and respect despite their ongoing competition. In addition to that, the star golfer also faced a dry spell soon after his 2010 Masters win, disappointing his fans one match after the other. A huge reason being his persistent injuries and the countless surgeries he had to go through because of them. But despite his awful form and recurring losses, the star came back strong after he had recovered from his injuries, trained as hard as he possibly could, and finally came over his dry spell in 2018 after defeating Justin Thomas in a playoff to claim the WGC Mexico Championship. It's um, a chance to be fresh and ready, but it's also a chance to be maybe not as sharp. I, I'm just not quite sure how it's going to play out. Because of his consistency in the game, Mickelson has enjoyed immense attention in the media and corporate world as well. Reports say that the sportsman has earned more from his endless brand deals than from his sport. As of 2019, the golf legend endorses brands such as Rolex, Barclays, and Ford, making him the second highest ranked golfer on PGA's all-time money list, a well-deserved rank after everything the man has been through in his career of two decades. Mickelson's rocky journey is proof that no matter how good you are at something, you can never avoid troubles that come your way. Despite being a prodigy at the sport, the sportsman has seen quite a few rainy days. From his difficulties in trying to win a title, to his wife's chronic illness, and then his own arthritis and hernia, the man has seen it all. When you listen to his story, it seems as if the entire universe is working against him. But isn't it absolutely inspiring how Phil Mickelson has still managed to beat all odds and come out on top? His life and career are both miracles that most of us wait all our lives to happen to us.